Vote for Joe Biden or Donald J. Trump you decide. All right, y'all, so I'm back. We up here registering people to vote. And I got my brother, man. I've known him for a long time. Love this dude to death, man. He's a really good dude, right? So I say, hey, bro, you got you registered to vote this year? And he's like, yeah, I'm voting. I say, who you voting for? He was like, you already know. I'm like, Trump? He's like, hell no. Hell no. I'm like, bro, are you serious? So he's asking me. He say, Cass, why? Why vote for Trump? Okay, before we get into it, because I'm going to break it down to you. Why are you voting for Biden? Be a better person. Why? Because what's going on now in the situation with Trump? What Trump situation? What's going on now? Shit just fucked up. I believe he could come in and do a, do a better job. You really do? I believe. What has he done? You know he's been in politics 47 years. What has he done in 47 years? What has he done in 47 years? Like what? I mean, I just believe he'll do better than Trump. Did you know that Biden, in 47 years of politics, has only been a racist, said racist things about you and me, personally, as black people, and made a bill to incarcerate black people with Bill Clinton? The crime bill. Look it up. The man just said, you ain't black unless you vote for him. Right? He also said he didn't want his children going to school in a racial jungle. Didn't want integration. He was for segregation. Also, not only that, he also said that poor kids can be just as bright and just as intelligent as white kids. Meaning that black, brown, red, yellow are poor. When he thinks poor, he doesn't think white at all. He's thinking about you and me. The dude ain't did nothing but hurt black people. And then his running mate, Kamala Harris, she's got a career of locking up black people. A career. Now, let's move over to Trump. You ask me why I'm voting for Trump. Before Trump was the president, did not everybody love him? In their music videos, rap videos, all the magazines. He got awards from black communities in the NAACP. Everybody loved him. But then when he came to president, they said he's a racist. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because when he came into politics, he started, what he said, drain the swamp. He started taking out all the, polit not just politicians, the evil, corrupt politicians. Fired them, took them out, made them go away and put in his people. Did you notice since he's been president, un the, the economy has been better than it ever been. Unemployment at an all time low, more jobs created than ever before. He stopped making people, making us an uh, uh, importer and made us an exporter. To me, that means we make more money. People talk about the wall that he wanted to build over there in Mexico. Do you know why he wanted to build the wall? And remember, they said that he was racist because he said that, that my brothers and sisters is Mexican is murderers and rapists and stuff, right? That's not what he said. If you listen to the clip, he said that the MS-13, the gang, are rapists and murderers, not Mexicans. Not Mexicans, but they twisted that to make everybody around us believe that he's a racist. Okay? Then they say, make America great again. What does he mean? When was America great? When you talk about make America great again, what he means is make America, like what I just said, an exporter again. Have jobs again. Have people believe in the American dream again, that they want to come to this country and they know that they're going to make it. Had nothing to do with race. All right? Not only that, the man gave funding for the next 10 years. This has never been done for historic black colleges and universities, the HBCUs. Barack Obama didn't even do that. He did prison reform, meaning, which directly affects us, affects us as black people because we fill up the prisons, you feel me? He said, if you're a nonviolent offender and it's just like drugs or something, you ain't kill nobody or pull a gun on nobody, you get to come, you can come home, man. There's programs set in place for you to be able to come home. He did everything he could to show by his actions that he ain't a racist and a damn good president. He did all that. Yet, we still running around here, the people that only watch the news, we're saying, hell no, nah, we voting for Biden because Biden was with Obama or Biden did so much great, but nobody can tell you none of the great that he did. But they could pull up every single thing that he's done to the black community. Specifically, Hillary Clinton called us super predators. 
Matter of fact, if the man isn't if the man isn't a racist, why did he speak at the KKK members' eulogy and said that he was his uh, hero or inspiration or whatever? So why why does he deserve your vote and not the man who's actually showing you that he cares about you? The president that's done more for the hood, black community, Hispanic community than any other president since Lincoln. You feel me? Why would he? you know me, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm a hood nigga. You know me. So why would I be telling you that? Bill Clinton is the one that did that, that the crime bill, but they pushed it. Exactly. He knows his stuff. He know his stuff. See, like Trump, he's gonna bring the jobs back. He been bringing them back. And that's why they did this coronavirus shit. Like you say, you say the export. Now will be the biggest export instead of China. Exactly. He bought steel manufacturing, the automobile industry. They said that that was dead. And look at us now, booming. They hit us with coronavirus. You notice that when coronavirus hit, they said everybody got to stay in the house. Nobody could go out. But yet, if you're Black Lives Matter or Antifa, you could go out and protest and burn shit down and nobody's going to say nothing. But the coronavirus is so bad. We out here standing with masks. You feel me? Why? It's an agenda. So, bro, the reason why I'm having this conversation with you is because it's important. Your vote is very important this year. They've been getting the black vote. You know, Lyndon B. Johnson said that I'm going to have these niggas voting Democrat for the next 200 years. And we do blindly Latinos and blacks. We vote Democrat blind as hell. Don't even know why we do. We just do. Did you know that the black people are the ones that started the Republican Party? Did you know that we were Republicans? They crippled us with welfare. Section eight. They kicked us out the homes, bro. Made the woman look at you and be like, I don't need you. I'll go get, I'll take care of uh, by the state. I'll go get food stamps. Which led you to be upset, me to be upset, go out and sell drugs because we're trying to prove to our family that we can provide even though they ain't giving us no jobs. Then we get locked up under that crime bill. And then we're locked up and we're stuck there. That was under Biden. 47 years, bro, in politics, and they did nothing for us. Trump, people have already loved Trump for forever. Why would you want to be the president of the United States when you're already a, a billionaire? You have every woman that you could possibly want at your feet. You don't need the fame because you got the fame already, right? So what reason would he have to become the president of the United States? Did you know that he's never taken a check since he's been in office? One dollar, yes. One dollar. Every other check he's donated. While being president, he's the only president in history for his net worth to drop, oh, to go down. That's why I'm asking you if you registered to vote, bro, so you could vote for the right person who's going to help us out, man. Who's going to do more for this, not just even us as black people, because it's not about that. We need to even stop calling each other black. We American, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We are American. Straight up. So can you do me a favor? When you come in here with me, I haven't feed you a slice of pizza. Register to vote. Come pick with me and my kids for a sec. Make sure you register to vote. And then no, no, think about it. Just, just you know, I'm make registered. sure a little update. A little update. Yeah, All right. For sure, for sure. Can I count on your vote? I'm out here for a reason, bro. You know I ain't going to lie to you. I never have. You been my dog. You feel me? You been my dog, bro. You always going to be my dog. I'm trying to tell you. I, if you want... I'm going to give you my, my new number. I'm trying to tell you, brother. I'm trying to tell you. They the, they, they the real racist, man. They tell you Trump's racist and can't give you nothing to show that he's a racist. But can give, I can give you everything to show you that he's not. But I can show you clip after clip after clip after clip after clip in its entirety of Biden saying some messed up racist stuff, bro. And then his actions, the bills that he's passed through that was he got behind were racist. Directly targeting you and me. So why the hell would we give him our vote? They think we're stupid. They think because he was with Barack Obama. Why do you think he chose Kamala Harris as his running mate? She wasn't even qualified. They didn't want her in the primary when she was running to be the, the, the uh, candidate against Trump. They didn't want her then. So why pick her now? After she called you a racist. In the debate. Think about it. Because they think we're stupid. We're going to see a black woman be like, oh, well, he she could be the female Barack Obama. Well, let's vote. That's why. Trump been did a lot, a whole lot, not just for the hood, bro, 
not just for, for black communities, but for America, which is what a president is supposed to do. Not single out one or the other because of their color. All of us are American, and that's how he looks at us, is as Americans. Not as niggas, not as black, not as none of that. That's why he said what he said. He said, look, what do you got to lose? You've been voting the same way, you've been voting for these people for how long, and look it. So what do you really got to lose? Give me a chance. And he's shown you. He's shown everybody. So I'm counting on you, man, and everybody else that you know. If you could, when you get to talking to people, bro, tell them exactly what I just told you. Trump 2020? Yeah. Trump 2020? Can I get that? My brother. My brother. That's what it's about. That's what it's about right there. Trump 2020. He voting Trump. He already registered. He was running. He was going to vote Biden. Didn't know none of the stuff I just told him right now. And everything that I'm telling you, you can look up. You can, I, If you want, I'll show you right now. While I get off the phone and I'll show you. That's what it's about, y'all. You want to make a difference, get out there and talk to people. It's starting right there in your own hometown, man. Where you from? So people know you. Your credibility ain't in question. I ain't got no motive. This is my boy. This is my boy, man. It, that is my motive. To keep America great. Because he already made it great again. Now we're trying to keep it great. All right? So get out there if you haven't already, man, and talk to people. Talk to your neighbors. Let them know. Bring the facts to them. Not your feelings. Not your opinion. Present the facts. Say what you know to be a fact so they can verify that. And then they know, yo, he wasn't lying. You know what? I'm going to switch my vote this year. That's what we need to do. And I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to talk to everybody else about it. My brother, I appreciate you. Straight up. I'm going to get in here with my babies, bro. Okay. You have a good day. All right. All right. That's what we're trying to do out here, y'all. Unite. Don't fight. Be a street like it's only you can be the change that you want to see in the world. And when you get too stressed out, remember to pray, America. Trump. 2020. Woo! Yeah!